Lisa Clark here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and this is the Spooky Lady Part 2. Um, there are only two parts. Uh, like I said in the previous video, this went really fast. Um, it took longer for me to let things dry than it did to really do this whole thing. Um, I'm not real good at painting. <laughs> I could just tell you that right now. Um, and it kind of shows, especially in this poor spiritual looking spooky face that I ended up doing. Um, it was okay. Like I said, painting is just not my, my forte, but I still had fun doing it. Um, <laughs> and it was hard to paint at this angle, uh, cause I wanted the camera to be a straight shot onto the canvas. So I had to like sit to the side and paint, which was really challenging for me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, but it, in the end, it, my daughter likes it. So yay. <laughs> and she's coming out for the, uh, for Christmas, her and her boyfriend. So, um, she'll get her witchy, spiritual, spooky face painting, um, in sometime in December. So, but she won't mind. She likes all this stuff. So it works out. So, um, again, not a professional for sure. I'm just trying to get lights and darks put in to make it look like a face. I'm not going to be super picky. Um, I'm highlighting the chin, little wrinkles to make her look older so I can add some gray hair here in a minute. Um, make it all kind of work uh, in a way. So that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, it, these brushes, paint brushes, they're the cheap, cheap Walmart kind. Um, I just don't spend a whole lot of money on paint supplies. I have a ton of paint. And I have a lot of brushes, but I never really spend the money on the high quality kind of stuff. I just don't see the point. I'm not a painter. So this was more like um, I had taken a break from um, a lot of stuff due to just some health issues. But this was like the first thing I came back to. I needed to kind of ease back into art. Um, and this is what I chose to do to ease back in. So really simple, straightforward. I think if you have somebody you know that likes the spooky kind of feel of stuff, this is a perfect project for it. Um, I'm just using my mister there to kind of wet the paint down. I wanted streaks to go down and make it look almost transparent. So it's me adding a lot of paint so that I can spray it down with the spray bottle. And I'm using like a fine mist spray bottle. And it did what I wanted it to do. I, I wanted it to be streaky and but I wanted it to be kind of translucent so I got the effect pretty good I thought I was pretty happy with that um yeah and it's super easy like takes no effort this me attempting to use a rake brush <laughs> um like I said I don't use a lot of money to buy supplies but Overall, it was okay. The hardest part for me was the angle because I'm trying to not have my fat head in the way of the camera while I'm painting this thing. So coming at angles with this paintbrush was really challenging for me. Um, and I had to go back and kind of soften up some of the streaks that I had put in her hair. It was, it was too white, too light, too bright. Um, and she's a dark character, so... Anyway, and then um, I had let that area dry down there at the bottom of her whatever dress or whatever so that I could do another layer of streaking of paint. So I had to kind of go back and forth when things were drying and let them dry. I usually I use a hair dryer, but honestly, it just wasn't that kind of a project for me to where I was in a hurry. So I just kind of let things dry as they did naturally. Um and then went back and forth when something was wet. I'd leave it alone and go back to the other thing. So really, this was kind of fun. I mean, I, it did sit on my easel for a few days trying to figure out what I was going to put in the snow. Uh, but once I figured it out, I was like, oh, that'll work. So yeah, um, all the supplies that I used will be in the description below the video. And again, my best advice is don't overthink it. Just go with it. Whatever feels good, whatever feels right. Um, don't overthink it. Don't overthink coloring. Don't, you know, different colors that need to be used. I literally used white and black 
and then just watered it down or added white to the black or black to the white, depending. It was really, other than the eyes, the eyes were like an orangey red, um, which I'm getting to here in a minute. There it is. Um, and I kind of mucked those up too. Um, I wanted pupils, but I couldn't figure out how that would look. <laughs> um, so yeah, that had to dry for a little bit. Um, and I was not patient. I mean, I had the pupils in there and I was like, yeah, I don't really like the pupils. Um, so I ended up painting over them for the most part. I mean, she ended up with pupils, but I, I did kind of soften them down a little bit. They were too, I don't know. They were just too much. So, and then I'm going to get to the trees here in about mm, five, 10 seconds. There, there we go. Um, and and that, that's a trick. I've seen it a hundred times. Um, just use a, an old credit card, dab the edge into the paint, and then just scrape it across um, with one motion. Um, that's all there is to it. Super, super easy. Um, I like when I can make my life a little easier. Um, I did think about going back and adding like a little bit of black to the white snow on the trees just so it wasn't so solid white. Um, and I probably will end up doing that, but I didn't do it here in this video. But, you know, hey, best good advice is sit with something, look at it, leave it on your easel, walk away from it, take a picture of it, look at it and decide what needs to be changed or altered or added to um, or painted over because <laughs> we all, we know we've all been there. Um, yeah. And I probably will. I probably will go back and just add a few little black lines going across the trees so that that snow isn't so white. Um, but really that's about it. Um, little details here and there. I did darken around her eyes, which made it look more spookier. I thought, but other than that, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, I think my daughter will like it. I know she will. She's very nice to me and with my art. So <laughs> thank goodness for that. Um, I did take a, a still photograph of the end since this video kind of ends abruptly right about here. Um, so yeah, here's the still photo. It's not fabulous. Uh, it shouldn't be hanging in a museum, but there you go. I had fun. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye.